Hello， 大家好。我们看一下第十三课和十四课的 Key Grammar Point。啊、uh, ，第一个，啊、um, ，We use the structure 老 and then plus surname <coughs> to address someone. 啊、uh, ，Normally we use 老 or 小 before a surname when addressing someone you are familiar with. For example, 老王、老张、老赵。So, Lao and surname, or when the person is young, you can say Xiao and the surname, like Xiao Li, Xiao Zhou. Third one,、uh, the structure, subject, and the verb the 怎么样 Adjective to describe the adverb. For example, 这啊、uh, 公司这几年发展的很好 The company. Developed very well recent years. 上个月产品销售的不太好。The verb 销售 and then adjective 不太好。So normally we use adverb and adjective together. The product sold not very well last month. 中国的高铁发展的很快。The Chinese speed train developed very fast. 发展的 verb. 很快 adverb and adjective. Ah,、uh, okay. We talk about two syllable words re reduplication. Ah,、uh, we have learnt that we reduplicate the verb to show um soften the tone or to show the verb will not will not last long or to bring kind of a feeling that for relaxing. Now we're talking about two syllables like 休息 have a break, 休息休息说明 illustrate, 说明说明考虑 consider, 运动 take some do some sports. Ah,、uh, it's same as verb. 一下 for example, 谈判还有成功的希望 There still there is still hope for the success of negotiation. 希望你们再考虑考虑。We hope you will, ah,、uh, reconsider. Um, so we re reduplicate the verb 考虑 to soften the tone. So we have the monosyllable reduplication like 看 and a a 看看 or 看一下 or 看一看 But remember, we only have. Um, a B A B form and A B 一下，嗯、uh, ，like 休息休息 or 休息一下。We don't have A B E A B this form. <coughs> okay, we're coming to the grammar points of lesson fourteen. The first one, expressing how to toast for something, we use 为 something 干杯。To show toast for something, of course we can directly say toast, 干杯 or like in English, cheer up, cheers. So we can put noun or noun phrase in between with something 干杯 So for example, with 我们的合作干杯 ah,、uh, toast for our cooperation. With 大家的健康干杯 toast for everyone's health. So we put the noun or noun、um, phrase in this structure, and we can put verb or verb phrase or even a clause in the structure. For example, we 合作干杯 cheers toast for cooperating. We 谈判成功干杯 toast for successfully negotiate, or a clause. Even a sentence in this structure, we 我们早点完成合作计划。干杯 There is a sentence here. Ah,、uh, toast for we complete the cooperation plan earlier. Okay, we put the complete sentence in the structure. Also, we can say okay. Now talk about the expression verb and 不了 Something we use this structure verb 不了 and then object. <coughs> Sometimes we don't really 
uh, mentioned about the object to show someone is not able to do something due to some reason, which is similar to 不能 do something. For example, 我喝酒了,开不了车, I, I drank. I drank, so I couldn't drive. 开不了车. 我要开车, 喝不了酒, so I will drive, so I cannot drink alcohol. 老板明天得开会, 出不了差, so the boss will have meeting tomorrow, and he will not go on business trip. So when the object is already mentioned, uh, we don't really speak the object again in the structure, like 这个字太难了,我写不了, we we'll directly say verb不了. 我写不了 because the object already mentioned 这个字 This character is too difficult 这次活动太有意思了 我忘不了 I cannot forget um, We talk about the conjunction or adverb or adjective or pronoun So many function This word 另外 First one, conjunction or adverb, for example, 上次的合作很愉快 The cooperation of last time is very happy, very pleasant 另外, additionally, in addition, 我们希望以后还有机会合作 We hope uh, we will have opportunity to cooperate in the future uh, 今天太晚了, it's too late today 我们另外找时间谈谈 Let's find another time to talk Because 另外 is used before the verb 找 So it's an adverb Then uh, it is used as adjective 合作条件我们会在另外的时间谈一谈 So the cooperation condition will be talked another time 另外的时间 other time, another time, 我主要负责产品销售 I mainly take the charge of the product sale 另外的工作, the other job, the other work 由王经理负责 will be in charge of manager Wang Now we talk about 另外 used as pronoun which means other or another 这个书店没有我想买的书 There is no there is, there is the book which I want to buy 我们去另外的书店看看 Let's go to another bookstore uh, to have a look 我今天上午见了三个客户 I have met three clients this morning 下午还要去见另外一个客户 Another so I will go to see another client in the afternoon. Okay, so that's all for the day. 再见!